Well, hey guys, welcome back to the shop. So today we're gonna to be talking about the trailer here a little bit and galvanic corrosion. So as you saw in the, uh, the pick and the thumbnail, um, you can actually have corrosion on the aluminum trailer. It's called galvanic corrosion. And what it is is when you have dissimilar metals touching the aluminum, the aluminum is gonna try and protect itself and it's actually can corrode and uh, it can essentially kind of rust, if you will, rust through, through the corrosion. Um, so what happens on an aluminum trailer, if you do not isolate, if you will, the dissimilar metal, and let's say that be stainless steel or steel from the aluminum, it will cause galvanic corrosion and cause the metal over time to kind of rust, if you will, and fatigue. And eventually, you know, you'll have a joint failure or something of that nature. So the area I'm having a problem with on mine is the trailer for the most part is great. When they mounted the winch on this thing, um, as I went around the trailer and you know, I'm basically going through it since I purchased it, uh, this new to me uh, feather light, whoever added the aftermarket winch did not put, if you will, like a plastic spacer um, between the, the bolt, or I should say the nut, um, you know, and the aluminum. So basically it's causing that galvanic corrosion that I'm talking about. And I'll crawl underneath the trailer and I'll show you uh, a couple of spots how they did separate the materials, from, you know, how Featherlight did it. And what I did um, for the front storage box when I mounted the battery more permanent, because the battery in this was just left loose. Uh, it was allowed to bounce all over the place. You know, and the winch, that battery operates the winch as well as the electric, uh, um, Thing that raises and lowers the trail. I can't think of what it is off the top of my head right now. Anyway, um, so I need to uh, take the, the nuts off basically. Um, their bolts are all rusty. I'm going to see what it takes to replace those bolts on this winch, put some fresh clean ones on, and then isolate you know the nuts with some plastic uh, shim material. So anyway, it, it's or uh, actually it's Delrin is uh, what I've got, some uh, really super thin Delrin material. But anyway, let me crawl under the trailer, or I'll show you actually on top of the trailer how they do it, as well as under the trailer in a couple spots. And then you know, I'll show you the rusty bolts uh, and talk about it real fast and then what I'm going to do about it. So hang tight, let me crawl under there, get a light under that, and uh, we'll take a look. All right, guys, so here, for example, is right one of my tie downs. And this is a stainless tie down, and here's the aluminum deck. But if you notice right here, see this black area right there? All right, they basically put material between the stainless here and the aluminum. So you do not get the galvanic corrosion in this case. So, you know, if I were to look under here, basically I, I won't see anything. Uh, maybe the bolts are getting just a touch rusty, but for the most part, they're really clean. Here, for example, is the bottom side of my uh, tie down, my stainless tie down. And then here's again one of the bolts and the nut. But if you notice right here, what looks like a washer is actually not a steel washer. Again, that is a piece of plastic of some sort or a fiber washer. Again, it isolates the nut, the dissimilar metal, the steel nut from the aluminum. So we don't get the galvanic corrosion. There's a little starting to show up here, right? Because this hole is pretty tight, um, you know, to the, To the stainless steel there um, so what's probably happening is the stainless is touching here a little bit and we are seeing a little galvanic corrosion but not that bad um, so you know I'm not too worried about this at this point but I will definitely keep an eye on it seeing how this trailer is several years old that's in pretty good condition so uh, I'm not going to do too much about that so now we're under the trailer here a little bit and if you notice you'll see the heavy corrosion starting to form around the nut head here um, where you know this is trying to do some corrosion uh, some of that galvanic corrosion that I'm talking about um, so basically you know I need to take these two nuts off uh, clean either probably replace them because they are getting pretty nasty they may just even snap off I don't know I'm gonna try and uh, take a wire brush clean the threads up a little bit put some uh, you know lube on it and see if we can't get these nuts to, to come loose and not, you know, snap off. Um, and then, you know, pull the uh, winch off and then um, put some plastic underneath with these new nuts and bolts. So 
let me show you here what I'm what I've done to the front so now kind of coming here you can see uh, this is the battery tie down um, right there and you can see basically I've got a plastic spacer uh, the black spacer and then just a wa musher, uh, washer and a nut but also if you look here this is what holds the box down itself um, and I'll you know, so basically what I've done is I've taken a piece of this plastic material here, my nut and my washer and bolted it down. So that way it keeps the metal from touching the aluminum. So the two dissimilar metals. So under the trailer, uh, here's a piece of, uh, you know, uh, flat steel uh, to strengthen the bottom side of the trailer. Here's, this is a piece of aluminum here, steel, then you can see aluminum here as well. And so what they've done is there is a, I don't know if you can see this little strip right there, but underneath this between these two sandwiched is like a piece of rubber or some sort of a fabric material. Um, so we don't get the galvanic corrosion between the two dissimilar metals. All right, guys. So if you notice right there, you can see how you know, basically they didn't put anything in between, you know, basically the lock washer, the hardware here, right? And the aluminum, and you see the rusty surface. Now, by the way, these would not break loose, by the way. Um, you know, it's difficult to get a breaker bar or anything up there uh, to do it with. So guess what? I win, the bolts loose. So anyway, let me go ahead and uh, cut this other one out, knock these two bolts out, clean this area up, um, and then I'll put some new hardware in and we'll put in um, some Delrin uh, spacers here as well. And I'll show you that material. It's basically the same material that I used right there. Uh, I have it on a roll. Uh, sorry, I don't remember where I got it from. Um, I think it was given to me by a buddy of mine, but I'll, I'll show you that here in just a moment. So. Let me cut the other one off, put the new hardware in. So you can see here's the winch, you know, that's mounted. Um, that's got those couple of bolts that I need to remove. Um, I wanna remove then the winch, put some new hardware on and re-secure it. And then like I said, isolate it so we don't get that galvanic corrosion. And then here's my front mounted box um, where, you know, basically I've taken uh, four fasteners and re-secured this. Um, with, uh, uh, instead of, you know, self tappers, I actually put up some bolts and then put, uh, again, that plastic uh, between my nuts. So that way it, it basically it doesn't allow the two dissimilar metals to touch. I've isolated them. And then, you know, the battery tie down, right? So here's the battery, you know, and then you can see I've got it tied down now where before it was basically allowed to bounce all over the place. Now, granted, I've got the relay here disconnected because it's not in use. Um, but, uh, you know, now that's where I also isolated these, my tie downs, because again, they're a dissimilar matter, metal, so that way they don't cause the galvanic corrosion as well. I'm kind of glad I uh, removed the old bolts, guys, if you notice. This is only grade five hardware. So, uh, you know, to hold a winch on, to pull, you know, a several thousand pound vehicle on, those two bolts hold that winch in place. So. Obviously, I'm going to upgrade this to grade 8 hardware and uh, bolt this thing back in. So let me get a couple of new fasteners and we'll pop this back together. So here's a small roll, what I was talking about. You know, this is uh, like a Delrin material. You can see this is thickness there of 0.381. Um, basically, I just cut off a couple of small squares. Uh, I just take a hole punch, an old hole punch, believe it or not, pop a couple of holes right in it, take my fat, make sure it's got plenty of room for my fastener, and that's pretty much it. So what I'll do is, you know, from the bottom side, you'll see this will be pushed up against the aluminum. Then what I'll do is I'll have my washer, and then, you know, I'll take my nut and bolt it on like so. So that way, you know, the Teflon here or the Delrin material, um, you know, does not allow the bolt, or I'm sorry, the washer to uh, touch the aluminum so we don't have the two dissimilar metals causing the galvanic corrosion. So let me go ahead and 
punch a couple of holes in this piece and then we'll go bolt the uh, winch back on. All right, guys, and you can see now I've got the new hardware installed, uh, grade eight with some nylon uh, nuts, um, washers, lock washers, just to be safe. And you can see I've got the plastic there as well underneath the washer between that and the aluminum plate. So hopefully I don't have any, uh, you know, galvanic corrosion going forward. And, um, you know, the aluminum, you know, that you see there is now just kind of protecting itself. Uh, as it's supposed to do. So with that guys, let me go ahead and crawl out from underneath this thing and we'll wrap this all up. So guys, that wraps up uh, this video. You know, it doesn't that this does not just apply to steel. This all, I'm sorry, aluminum. Uh, this also applies to steel. Uh, you know, so if you start using the similar metals like stainless with uh, metal, or you know aluminum with metal uh that kind of thing you can also have a similar issue on the steel for example that will cause uh you know corrosion so anyway that's what kind of causes galvanic corrosion and something you can do at least on your aluminum trailer to help prevent uh, having this issue so i hope you found this uh worthwhile uh, as they say like subscribe uh please comment uh you know, like, you know, doing those types of things, commenting and liking, obviously, uh, you know, through the YouTube algorithms um, allows uh, to get to be seen more. And I would greatly appreciate uh, any feedback that you guys have. So take care, guys. Get out to your shop, have some fun, and we'll talk to you all on the next upload. See, see ya. Let's try that again. See ya.